Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to run one way ANOVA by hand. So the question that I'm trying to address here is, is there any significant difference in students scores in stats exam between students who learn using Facebook, MyGuru and WhatsApp? Briefly, I would like to see if statistics score differs between students who use different um, platform or medium to learn statistics. So. The, does the student's medium of learning has any influence on the statistics um, scores? So in this case, I have three groups. I have students who use a Facebook as their medium to learn, my guru platform and also WhatsApp. And each of these group, I have five individuals. So I want to see if there is any difference between the scores of these three groups of individual. So what will be my first step? The first step will be to compute the mean. Then in this computing mean, I have to compute two important means. The first one is the group mean. The second one is the grand mean. How do you calculate the group mean? I'm going to add all these values in that particular group and take the average of it. So it is 70 plus 77 blah 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 until 97 divided by 5. So I repeat the same step to my guru um, group and also to WhatsApp. So I'm able to get the group mean for each individual groups. Secondly is I have to find the grand mean. Grand mean is the overall average for the entire data. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm taking the means of these three groups, add them up, divide by three and I get 50. I can also get the grand mean by adding every score in this data and divide by 15 and still get the same mean score. So first step compute the mean and you have to compute two means the group mean and also the grand mean. So what will be the second step? The second step is to compute the sum of squares and again in sum of squares you have to calculate three types of sum of squares. The first one is sum of squares between sum of squares within and sum of squares total. So sum of squares between is you take, uh, you, you have already calculated the mean of the groups, mean, grand mean. So you take the grand mean, subtract the group mean, square it, multiply by the number of cases in that particular group. And then you add for all the three groups. So here, the first group mean was 83.4, Minus 50, we square it, multiply by number of cases in that first group was 5. And then I add that with my second group. The mean of second group is 50 minus uh, the grand mean square it, multiplied by number of cases. Plus my third groups, group mean minus uh, grand mean square it, multiplied by number of cases. So as total, sum of squares between is 11155.6. Next, I go for sum of squares within. So for within is, I take the individual scores for that particular um, group, subtract it from the group mean, square it, and I add for each um, observation. So this is the first observation in my data, 70 minus the group mean. It belongs to the first group, square it, plus the second score of the first group, minus the mean of the first group, square it, plus until the last score of the first group, and square it. Then I repeat this for my second group, 30 minus 50, 50 is the mean of the second group, square it. And then I add until I end the value for the second group. And then I add for the third group. The third group, group mean is 16.6, subtracted from the score of the first score on the third group, square it, plus um, the second score of the third group is 10 minus 16.6 square it until the last score. So, and I add them up, I get 1334.4. So what is the sum of squares total? Sum of squares total is you subtract the grand mean from every individual scores from every group. So the I is the individual um, scores from every group, you minus with the grand mean. or what you can do is you can take you can get the sum of squares total by adding the sum of squares between and sum of squares within. So in this case, the sum of squares within between is one 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 five five 
0.6 and add it with within it is 1334.4 so in total I get 12490 okay so that is my second step so the third step is I need to compute the degrees of freedom degrees of freedom again you have three different degrees of freedom one is for between second one with the third one is total so for between it is k minus one so what is k k is the number of groups that you have in this case i have three groups minus one i get two degrees of freedom with it i the formula is n minus k n is num the total sample that you have i have 15 cases minus the number of groups i have three groups so I, total is 12. degrees of freedom for total is n minus one so what is my n number of uh, sample so I have 15 observation minus 1 and it is 14 so once I get the um, um, degrees of freedom now moving on to step 4 which is computing mean squares so mean squares again I have two mean squares one is mean square between one is mean square within between is so the formula is sum of squares between divide by degrees of freedom of between previously we have calculated sum of squares between is 11155.6 divide by 2 so I get 5577.8 mean squares within is sum of squares within divide by degrees of freedom within so 1334.4 divide by 12 I get 11.2 so the step 5 here is I already get the mean square of between and within so in step 5 I am computing the F ratio or also known as the F statistics so how do we calculate that the formula is mean squares between divide by mean square within so between is 5577.8 divide by 111.2 and the value is 50.6 this is my F ratio or the F statistics so now I need to find the F critical from the table so for alpha 0 0.05 degrees of freedom 2 and 12 from the table my f critical is 3.89 and the last step here is step 6 which i need to compare f ratio to f critical to make a decision about my hypothesis so i reject the null if my f statistics or f ratio is greater than my f critical or accept the null if my f stats or f ratio values are less than my f critical value in this case my f statistics is 50.16 is definitely greater than my f critical of 3.89 therefore i reject the null hypothesis there is actually a difference in the scores um, between the three group of students thank you